This course is all about good movement on a circle. Note, a good way of moving is an essential precondition for the horse to develop the necessary strength for carrying a rider. That is true for a young horse as well as a mature animal. In order to be successful, we need to understand the difficulties our horse faces when we start training it. In the wild, a horse essentially moves only in straight lines. He may turn abruptly or change direction, but he never moves continuously on a curve or even a circle. So, the horse simply does not know how to move on a circle in a naturally healthy way. We have to teach him exactly that. Without help, most horses move on the lunge in this manner. They land heavily on the inside foreleg, show no bend, and lean into the curve like a motorcycle. If they keep moving like this, tendons, ligaments, and joints will be strained. The six-year-old Losty is doing just that, trotting as well as cantering. On both leads, he bends his neck to the outside and falls onto the inner shoulder. He moves on a circle, but without bending his spine. His head and neck position is too high. The back swings down. The vertical arrow shows just how far Losty is leaning to the inside. The inner shoulder is much lower than the outer. When the horse falls like this onto the inner shoulder, the inside leg cannot swing wide forward. It supports the whole weight and the horse needs it quickly again for support in order not to fall down. The shortened movement in the forehand causes shortened steps in the hindquarters as well. The result is a stiff and hard gait. Raising the inner shoulder is key for freeing the forward movement. Then the hind legs can step under the center of gravity and the gait will become soft and flowing. The green line shows the vertical. As you can see, Losty's legs show quite an angle to the vertical line. When a horse moves in this tilted position, the hoof cannot land flat, and so the joints are strained unequally. For a healthy way of moving without strain on joints, tendons, and ligaments, the legs should support the body vertically. The hoofs should hit the ground horizontally. Here, Losty's chest points straight at the viewer. Even the tips of his hooves point straight forward and also a bit to the outside. However, he is moving on a circle and must turn to the left by twisting the inside leg on the ground. The leg joints are not designed for that. This rotation strains the joints, tendons and ligaments and may lead to injuries. On top of that, Losty is counterflexed. In order to bend correctly along the spine, the horse must flex at the pole in the same direction. As long as the horse flexes at the pole to the outside, it cannot bend the spine to the inside. You probably know the saying, no flexion, no bend. Losty does not track on a circular line. He tracks on a straight line. The horse must track on a circular line for the hindquarters to carry and lift the back. Before attempting to master healthy movement on a circular line, the horse must be relaxed and supple and happy to cooperate. The first thing to learn is to lift the inside shoulder so the legs support the body more vertically. Then he must accept correct flexion and bend so he can track like a train on the circular line. Now the hindquarters can become active, begin to carry weight and let the back swing upward. This healthy way of moving is an essential prerequisite for the development of correct muscling. Once those necessary muscles are developed, the horse can carry a rider without harm. This applies to young horses as well as mature ones. The 11-year-old Icelandic mare Vik moves also without bending. She is tense and unbalanced. She cannot relax her neck and bends it to the outside. 
This is the nine-year-old quarter horse gelding Dunnit. He trots with his neck held high and stiff, and he bends clearly to the outside. He moves on the circle without bending. His back swings down. Once they have learned how to move well on the lunge, the horses will be supple and balanced in their shoulders. They bend their whole body, engage their hindquarters, and show a positive tension through the top line. Their backs swing upward. Here we see the six-year-old Losty again. He has made good progress. He is much more supple, he has better balance, he is beginning to bend and his back is swinging upward. Training this better and healthier way of moving on the lunge will contribute greatly to his physical and psychological well-being and development. Note, with good training on the lunge, we can show the horse how to move in a healthy way on a circle.